Hello everyone. Um, I'll be casting uh, a game uh, between uh, myself and uh, Professor. Uh, we played this game a couple days ago, and this is mainly to test the new uh, casting software I downloaded. It's called uh, Capture Age. It's specially designed for Age of Empires, for uh, capturing games and casting games. Um, here we go. Uh, we'll uh, jump right into it. Uh, professor playing as Celts, uh, myself playing as Goths. This was a random uh, sieve on Arabia. Let's see how it goes. So that's where the game actually starts. And uh, we will switch over to Capturage, where we will. Um, this is a casting software, so we'll look at the resources on both sides, myself and the uh, professor, and we'll see how. Uh, how this plays out. It's a very interesting software. It captures the game that is being played directly from Age of Empires and uh, gives you uh, different uh, statistics, um, the uh, kill to death ratio, the economy, uh, villager percentage, relics, idle time of the DC, idle time of the eco, very very interesting this is the value of the uh, value percentage of I believe the uh, villagers uh, and the military on the bottom I think I think that's where it is I'm still new to this software so I'm not sure exactly how it works uh, to be precise I think there's a pause button here we can pause and we can see what's going on move around the map uh, again this is uh, something that I'm just uh, using to uh, capture uh, the game and see how this software works. As I go to the TCs, I can I can see who's doing what. And uh, uh, up top here, you can see that um, I think you have the military here, one one military, and uh, workers nine. Um, don't know what this is. I think this is the value of the military. Uh, this is the idle. How many idle villagers you have? That's only zero. And uh, that's very interesting. Actually, I'm not too sure what's 11 over 15. I think okay, that's the population. I think yeah. So he has a max population of 15, and he's up to 11. So um, now he's building two more houses. So let's see if this goes up should go up to 20 I think right there yeah so that's 20 okay so basically it's destroying you as it builds the houses uh, the cool part about this is that you can just zoom out completely look at the map like like this um, very very interesting so uh, I was playing gods uh, professor was playing as Kels My plan was somehow to get to Castle Age without getting raided and uh, try to go uh, Hustrels, uh, mass the Hustrels and, and fight the uh, uh, the Kels. Um, Kels is a good matchup against Goths because Kels is a very good siege, fires fast and is uh, um, very good infantry which moves faster so um, my initial thought was that uh, uh, professor will go for champions and siege so my plan initially was to go knights and uh, uh, just surprise him to play knights as gods uh, let's look at the idle eco uh, I have a lot more. I have almost a minute of idle eco, and uh, Shanwas has uh, Professor. Other has uh, only 24 seconds idle TC time. My idle TC time is much bigger than the idle TC time of uh, um, Professor. Again, my idle eco has gone up, and Professor's idle eco is low. That means his his TC is consistently producing villagers. Like as you can see, he's queued up three villagers while he's doing the board. So I think uh, I was 
very good um, dark age from professor very very good the idle time is uh, very low especially for the tc so uh, over the over the course of uh, his experience in this game i think it is uh, it has really gone up uh, a lot and he's really really improved a lot um, Sources for me and for Prof. I think Prof. Professor already clicked up. No, he, he, that's the number of resources you need to uh, uh, get to the next stage. So once this is complete solid red, uh, you will have enough resources to go uh, feudal. As you can see, my villagers are constantly idle. Look at that. Idle eco has gone up to almost 5 minutes. Wow. So this is basically counting the amount of time each villager has stayed idle. And as you can see, my idle time of uh, each villager has gone up significantly compared to uh, um, Professor. The idle TC time for Professor is also lower than mine, so definitely a very good dark edge for Professor. And for me, certainly a lot of things to work on. Um, four dark edge farms. Of course, a better score for Professor for that reason, because he has less idle time and more efficient eco. Except for these walls are a bit weird because he could have just walled here and <laughs> it would be better uh, rather than going all the way down he could have walled right here up to the edge of the map and that would be uh, that would be perfect walling for him and a lot of less wood used this is a lot of wood he used up let's look at my map very very uh, really weird walling here for me I guess I wasn't really paying attention to the whole map I was really thinking about just saving my wood line because gods they don't get stone walls so I figured I'll just do palisade walls and uh, a bit of a house wall in the front and then just cover my uh, my main resources uh, my gold was a bit exposed um, my neutral gold and stone is in the front I have a side gold here but that could be uh, that can be threatened this stone is safe that's a safe stone terms of uh, Professor, uh, Bad Bolt, very good, uh, Backstone, again, very good, and uh, the stone is a bit uh, forward, but it's not the end of the world, he has a Backstone, but again, if he if he walled up to here, to the edge of the map, he would also have this one secured, so he had he had a very good map here, I think, I think Professor had a very good map, uh, my map was a bit, a bit more exposed than his, and uh, I had to play uh, aggressive. So here um, now you have the upper bar uh, for food and the lower bar for gold. So this tells you how much resources you have to go to the next stage. So I just have some food missing. Similarly, uh, pro Professor has only some food missing. He can go up, I can go up uh, sooner than later. And uh, let's look at the idle eco. On my 
idle eco is twice as much as his my idle dc is uh, more than a minute almost a minute more than his which is really bad which is really bad so it's, it just tells me what i need to work on to get uh, to get ahead and what, what i need to fix in my game because this is a lot of idle time for the eco eco idle time basically means right. how much uh, time has been uh, a villager uh, idle so if you have five villagers idled for one minute each then that's a five minute of idle time uh, that is a lot so that that looks like a lot i mean i i'm not too sure if i'm, I'm really reading this right if i'm not sure if this is the correct way of reading the idle time um, but it seems so that uh, if you have uh, you know villagers idling a lot then uh, or maybe it also calculates the efficiency of the villagers so let's say if the villager yeah. like these villagers are walking back and forth to the lumber camp the longer it takes them to go to the lumber camp and come back it automatically increases this time i can't tell but maybe that's one of the reasons why uh, it might be higher but I, i'll read into it a bit more to see how this is calculated the idle eco time how is it uh, calculated in, in Okay then, uh, you see his idle eco time is jumping up because his three villagers are just standing there. Look at that. That thing is just swiveling up big time. I don't know, he forgot about these three villagers. Okay, now he's moving them. But still his uh, idle eco time is going up a bit. Is that because he has another idle villager somewhere? Yeah, right there. You see, that villager was idle. So his idle time just kept going up. These three villagers are walking, so this is not considered idle time. Okay, so they are they are walking, so they're doing something. So it's not going to be considered idle eco. Okay, so walking distance doesn't matter. So it's strictly uh, idle time of the uh, villagers, I believe. All right. Um, in terms of the game so far, so both of us are in castle age now. Uh, my plan is to. Uh, get some knights out and surprise uh, professor with the uh, knights because I'm, I'm thinking he will be expecting infantry and I'm expecting him to make infantry to counter it. I'm expecting him to make uh, champions to counter my house drills and uh, me I'm planning to go knights here in the beginning. out let's look at uh, professor here so far no military from professor he's just playing it safe um, and he has a tc outside his uh, base on the side uh, for wood i believe because he will need a lot of wood for siege if he wants to go siege he will need a lot of wood and gold um, for me food is the main uh, the main resource so i will need a lot of food value percentage G so what does this mean um, does this mean that this is the value of the military or does that mean the value of the uh, I think it means what is the value of the military versus the score maybe 55% so of my score belongs to the military I guess that's what it means I'm not sure I'm not sure again I have to I have to look into that I have to read into that um, this gives you the castle and the TC count I have two TCs and professor has two TCs and then the castles will be underneath kill to death ratio one to one no uh, 
Okay, two deaths ratio one. So I have zero kills, one death, and that means maybe my scarf was. Yeah, I think my scarf was killed. And uh, professor doesn't have that. His scout is still alive, I believe. So the ideal eco time is getting closer. Either DC time, however, mine is much higher than than professor. However, my uh, villager. Yeah, this is really confusing. I have to I have to check this out. Why? What is this value percentage? G? Is this my military score? I think so. I think so. I think this is my military score. That's what that's what an attack does to you. That's what um, a raid does to you. Just look at that idol. He was uh, pretty much half uh, the time that I had, but one attack and look at where the idol ego went. Idol TC time is also going up because he's focusing on uh, you know he's being distracted, distracting him with my knights, and he wasn't expecting knights. Here. Let's see if this uh, number changes because of this military fight. So, I think um, Professor is really banking on late game here uh, with, uh, with gods, and uh, it is a you know. Good matchup, like I said, Celts should win against Scots if they play if they play into uh, infantry and siege. For example, this uh, Scots was the right play. If uh, you know, I was going for uh, if I were to go for um, uh, infantry, but here I'm at knights. is playing with uh, with scorpions so it's not gonna make a big uh, damage to my knights what you really need to hear was fights maybe they don't gonna castle also he's really playing passive here Celts should uh, should play I think he should have played a bit more aggressive because it's Celts he could punish me with this siege he could punish with uh, yeah helps on siege I think castle into eight knights that's it i just made eight knights i think if he walled up to the edge of the map he would have 
to save her. That was a very bad, very bad walling, I think. I think if there's anything he could, could improve his, his staff. His walling was awful on this map. Um. Oh, so Professor decides to go for a lot of siege workshops here. She cancels. Because he didn't know that I had a castle there. So he was going for an all in siege push. I didn't know that because when he places the foundation of the building until uh, the villagers come over and start uh, building it, you don't see it as an, as an opponent. So I didn't really see that. I can see that while playing, that he has uh, a foundation being uh, placed here. Um, so, with, what is the plan here? He's going uh, Imperial, I'm going Imperial. I'm a bit behind, but uh, uh, I clearly have better eco at this point, I guess. Uh, due to the idle eco time. Oh, look at that. My idle eco time has gone up as well. We'll just pause the game here for one moment. So, um, idle eco time, um, idle TC time, all these stats here on this game really, really help. I think this is a very good um, app for that. Gas games to look at the games, to review the games. I think it really, really helps you understand uh, where we went wrong. Or so, this is the population, I think, right? Um, yeah, so I have a higher population than he does, I guess. Is that why this green bar is further up? Then? So that's the entire population, I think. And this, I would say, is probably the economy, and this is probably the military. Um, again, like I said, this is the first time I'm using it, so it's going to take me a bit of time to understand every single stat here and how it works. Alright, uh. 1k. 1k to 660, 720. I think that's the military score. The strength maybe. That's of course the population. That's the uh, max population right now that I can announce for. 64 over 115. So that's the um, population he does. Here is 1.9k. Does that mean he's going to be a very Or is it the value of the functions of the military? You know what? I think that's what it is. His value of the military is 1.9k. So his, his, the cost of his military is higher than the cost of my military because I only got like 8 knights. Interesting. Interesting if that is the stat here. Yeah, right there. You see? His, his, his military is much more expensive. My military is the same because I only have those eight knights that I need. Very, very interesting. So, I'm researching Elite Hospital here. I'm going to my castles. I'm going to my knights, try to take out this uh, siege. I don't have any hours. I should have had hours this. So, I'm going to take out my, my knights. And, uh, I'm going to take out his uh, scorpions here. Yeah, he pulls back and goes more games. He sees my barracks. And now his helps are coming in. Uh, yeah, helps and, and scorpions, I think, uh, should do the job here. You don't even need champion, I think. Put the, put the helps in the front as meat shield. And you make a lot of scorpions in the back and just... Yeah, later. But I think he... Uh, his eco is not gonna allow it at this point. I mean, his ha he has the resources actually. It's not that bad. But siege is expensive, so my hesters are cheap. Yeah, one thing 
fucking easy. This is, is uh, the spam. Uh, the god spam. You know, that's that's the key here because I can spam this uh, astral very cheap. So it, will take, it will take time for him to siege. Um, he could make the hand quicker, but I think the husband will take the hell. The siege will take time, like he has. Yeah, two siege workshops are not enough. If you're gonna go for a, for a push, you need to run out more than two siege workshops. Excuse me. <clears throat> the late game composition. The late game composition was was not uh, was not ideal for uh, Professor uh, Scorpions, but he must have had. Um, you know, he has to have yeah. a counter to the infantry hey, uh, with champions. I think champions or even um, uh, some kind of cavalry. <coughs> So, bottom line for this game, um, I mean, even though I'm just uh, trying to test the new software, but it was a good game, um, and I'm very impressed from how uh, Professor played the Dark Age <coughs> and the Feudal Age. I've never, uh, rep I've never casted any of his games in the past, except for uh, a tournament game long ago. Uh, he has improved a lot. I think he can improve further by um, just paying a bit more attention to uh, his wallet. And uh, just plan better for your uh, composition. If you wait too long, um, especially when you're going to play something like Siege Help or Champion Siege, then you need to have better timing. You need to have better timing, especially somebody like against uh, so someone like uh, Gods. Because Gods, you know, they will, they will spam. Once they hit the Imperial, they will have the opportunity to do the spam if the Echo is good. So in this game, um, from a professor's point of view, um, if I was playing as him, 
I know that I have to control costs early on. I can't let them have a free uh, boom like uh, like I did in this game. Um, harass with uh, light calf, harass with anything, archers, but harass. And you can see that when I was uh, playing, my idle uh, eco was much higher than uh, than the professor. He played a better dark age. But when I attacked with my knights, I uh, balanced the equation by harassing his uh, eco and his uh, idle TC time, idle eco time rather, uh, skyrocketed. So we were on the same uh, on the same level afterwards. Um, so harassment uh, pays off. I mean, this this showed me today that any kind of harassment will show, will pay off because it will distract you. It will distract you from your uh, micromanaging of your eco. Uh, where to put the villager, create a villager, uh, make sure that the idols are working. Um, all these things are easy to handle when you're not being harassed and I wasn't being harassed but at the same time <coughs> my idle eco was much higher than professor so professor is a much better player uh, a much better dark age feudal age uh, player than I am I can I can see that because he has very good control on uh, his idle times and that is the key in in the early game in the early game in uh, dark age and feudal age uh, the idle time is the key and uh, mine is much higher so I need to I need to fix that maybe that's why uh, a lot of games that uh, I end up losing are uh, due to that because my my idle time is much much higher uh, look at the idle TC time even though we had the same amount of TC's his idle TC time is half pretty much half of mine so amazing amazing uh, improvement from professor on the game and uh, I think the keys the, the two or three things that I would name here for him to uh, improve are uh, walling, um, late game composition and the third and the most important always do early harassment whether you make two or three scouts or four scouts uh, make them a control group and keep harassing the walls keep harassing the walls and if you manage to get in go hit a villager and get out uh, go hit another villager and get out you don't necessarily have to kill a villager you just need to make him idle right look at this idle this is idle eco this is how I achieve this so in the end if your idle eco is much lower than my idle eco you have better eco so uh, yeah an amazing uh, software uh, uh, congratulations congratulations to whoever made this software I just went to a website and downloaded it but uh, it's amazing uh, capture age especially designed for age of empires to cast games to learn uh, about uh, uh, how the games uh, how the games go and uh, I really really enjoyed it I think I'll be casting all the games here all the games should be uh, should be casted on this um, we'll do we'll see if we can do a team game maybe we can cast a team game on this and uh, post that um, let's see thank you for watching guys and see you next time.